Law enforcement agencies are now using Google to track down suspects. The tech giant uses a database called Sensor Vault, though you may be more familiar with the term. It's called location services. Mm -hmm. For police, the function acts like a dragnet locating every device near a crime scene. And according to a New York Times article, requests by investigators to use Sensor Vault database have risen sharply in the last six months. So Jennifer Valentino DeVries joins us now. She's the author of that New York Times report. Thanks for joining us. You. Thanks so, so much. So I just learned about this. We were just talking. If you are fans of the uh, podcast to Live and Die in L.A., the last episode, they talk about this, how Google is keeping track of everything, not just things that you Google but a whole lot of other information right. about you. Like it's what? practically a one-stop shop. Um, and Google keeps a lot of information on your emails, if you use Gmail, your um, search history, which is incredibly valuable. Um, and you know other things about you, if you use Google services, um, especially if you have an Android phone, uh, they track location a lot of times. And this can really be valuable to police. And this is more accurate than the pings. We always hear about the cell phone pings, pinging off cell towers. But in terms of the location, this is more accurate. Right. And from a law enforcement perspective, I think this is really exciting for them because um, cell phone towers, you know, it's just the phones that are connected to that tower. And it has, you think about it, a pretty wide range, right? Um, but Google is using GPS. They're even using the Wi-Fi that are around your phone, just in the immediate vicinity, and it can be a lot more precise. Mm. So it's important uh, for law enforcement agencies to use this service because it does help them catch criminals. But could innocent folks be entrapped as well? Yes, and actually that's one of the things we found in um, reporting out this story it was there was a man who was arrested based on this data and kept in jail for um, nearly a week. And uh, then he was released and another person was arrested. And the details are unclear, but it seems as though um, the first man may have logged into somebody else's phone to check his account or may have left his phone somewhere. And so it looked as though he was at a murder scene, um, but police have now released him and arrested somebody else. Do we know how long Google keeps this information? Like, do, do they know what my, you know, 15-year-old self or whatever had been Googling? Um, so it depends on the service. So <laughs> yeah. this Hope information <laughs> that's in this sensor vault database um, is, is kept if you have a certain service called location history on mm -hmm. that allows you to get recommendations based on where you've been. So like if you go to ski resorts a lot, you might see um, ads for skis um, and things like that. Um, and that is kept if you have opted into it until you delete it. So mm -hmm. you can actually go in and kind of look at your Google account and delete some of this information. You can delete the search history that's associated with your account. Mm -hmm. Um, but in a lot of cases, otherwise, Google will just keep it indefinitely. Is Google the only company that uses this type of service? Um, they're the only company that has a database of locations that is this extensive. So Apple, if they collected location data this way, you know, there are so many iPhones, they could have something similar. Mm -hmm. But they say that they don't do that. It's not accessible in the same way that this Google information is because um, they have a slightly different business model. They're not hmm. going for ads. They're trying to sell you phones. So this is an option that we would have opted into without even really thinking right. about it, right? Right. It's the sort of thing that you would get prompted to do to get you know, traffic alerts or geotagging on your pictures and things like that. So I think a lot of people opt into it. It is opt-in, but they might not realize it. So it can be worthwhile to check your settings if you're worried about this. I'm thing. afraid to see what Google knows <laughs> okay. about me. Is it required by law? Is Google required by law uh, to provide this information to law enforcement? Yeah, I mean, law enforcement are getting a warrant here. I think the the question is really whether those warrants are always valid because they can be for a pretty big, expansive space, and you know, making sure that it's not ensnaring innocent people. Um, who just happened to have logged into a different phone or something. Fascinating and scary. Very Our information is out there. Jennifer Valentino DeFries, thank you very much. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Great story, by the way.